1953 Doubt, also known as Fortean Society magazine, published an alleged transcript of an Egyptian papyrus. The transcription was sent in by Tiffany Thayer. She claimed that Boris de Rachel Wiltz sent her the transcript. Boris de Rachel Wiltz had told her that he found the original transcript amongst the papers that Alberto Tully had left. The late Professor Tully was the former director of the Egyptian Museum in the Vatican. D. Rachel Wiltz translated Tully's papers and found that the text contained an account of a remarkable event. The transcription was allegedly from the reign of Thutmose III during around 1480 BCE and was an account of a massive UFO sighting. The transcript has been called a hoax by ufologist Jacques Vallée and Chris Aubeck. Their skepticism comes from de Rachel Wilkes's never seeing the original text. They also find it strange that Tully had allegedly copied the text in only one viewing of the original papyrus, using ancient Egyptian shorthand. Valet and Aubeck believe that the text probably contained translation errors, and without the original papyrus, it is impossible to verify the text. However, Many scholars believe that de Rachel Wiltz's translation is authentic. R. Cedric Lennard, an anthropologist, also translated the Tully papers. The translations are nearly identical. Although the text does not mention Tutmosis III by name, de Rachel Wiltz claimed the text was part of the annals of Tutmosis III. The following is de Rachel Wiltz's translation of the Tully papyrus. In the year 22, third month of winter, sixth hour of the day, the scribus of the House of Life found it was a circle of fire that was coming in the sky. Though it had no head, the breath of its mouth had a foul odor, its body one rod long and one rod large. It had no voice. They hearts become confused through it. Then they laid themselves on the bellies to report it. His Majesty ordered has been examined as to all which is written in the papyrus rolls of the house of life his majesty was meditating upon what happened now after some days had passed over these things lo they were more numerous than anything they were shining in the sky more than the sun to the limits of the four supports of heaven powerful was the position of the fire circles the army of the king looked on, and his majesty was in the midst of it. It was after supper. Thereupon, they went up higher, directed to the south. Fishes and volatiles fell down from the sky. A marvel never occurred since the foundation of this land. Caused his majesty to be brought incense to pacify the hearth. What happened in the book of the house of life? For the eternity. Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you want more content like this, check out my other videos and subscribe to my channel. I release videos every week. If you already are subscribed, thank you for your support. If you want to follow me on social media, the links are in the description. Sleep tight, friends.